20,000 years prior to the Battle of Yavin, during the period known as the Expansionist Period, the Old Republic often encountered worlds led by warlords who opted to coexist by joining the Republic. These realms, according to their overall size, were granted the status of allied regions and were appointed the title of Grand Moff. This video looks at the appointed title of Grand Moff, including its beginnings, and following the Sector Governance Decree in 19 BBY for the Galactic Empire's use. Over thousands of years, the many allied regions were developed into sectors of the Republic, and any remaining Moffs became irrelevant along with the remnants of the ancient Republic following the Rusan Formation in 1000 BBY. The Rusan Formation restructured the entire Galactic Republic following the New Sith Wars, taking power away from the Supreme Chancellor and transferring it to the Galactic Senate. When the Galactic Empire rose to power, only a few small allied regions remained, inside the core colonies such as the Olinir Boundaries and the Botor Enclave. Emperor Palpatine, following the Sector Governance Decree, gradually appointed Grand Moffs to Oversectors, which often crossed the boundaries of standard sectors to cover 1,024 regional sectors. Across the vast reaches of the galaxy, Imperials including the first Grand Moff Wilhof Tarkin were charged with quelling the infectious trouble spreading from system to system. Freedom for those who wished to defy the Empire often coordinated their efforts of unrest across boundaries making it extremely difficult for Grand Moffs to prevent dissent from spreading. However, to deal with these threats to the Empire's security, Grand Moffs held the authority over vast resources at their disposal. A Grand Moff held the ability to commandeer command over a naval, army and intelligence units from multiple sectors to reinforce the Empire's grip if a Moff was failing to suppress an uprising. These problem regions of the galaxy became the Empire's and of the Tarkin Doctrine's priority sectors, also known as Oversectors, which often crossed the boundaries of standard sectors. A Grand Moff was given complete freedom to act as they saw fit, without giving advance warning to the Moffs or the planetary governors of their actions. Although in the early years of the Empire's reign the number of Grand Moffs were limited, at the time of the Galactic Civil War Emperor Palpatine had increased their appointments, who reported directly to him. Each Grand Moff commanded at least two sector groups, and some were given even greater military strength if their priority sector was of crucial importance to the Empire. The priority sector would always acquire the equipment of special experiments and receive replenished forces, but especially where the Emperor had a personal interest in special projects, which meant pouring vast resources into them, for example the Death Star project. Tarkin was the first of these, and with his promotion to priority sector high commander of the Oversector Outer, came Palpatine's command to restart work on the Death Star project. Tentatively claiming favouritism over the support provided to the Grand Moffs, the Sector Moffs protested at the unfamiliarity of their actions inside their sectors, however the Emperor ignored their pleas. Although it was not clear, the Emperor may have reduced the amount of influence and weakened the title of Grand Moff after the disastrous destruction of the first Death Star. The title also endured a major setback after Grand Moff's Tractor and Bartum attempted to remove the Emperor as part of the anti-Sith conspiracy. The plot failed and the treacherous Grand Moff and his conspirators were killed for their betrayal. Prior to his death at the Battle of Yavin, even Grand Moff Tarkin was correctly suspected by Palpatine to also hold his ambitions towards the throne. After the Empire's defeat at the Battle of Endor and the void left by the death of the Emperor, many Grand Moffs ignored orders from Coruscant by Saint Pestage and broke away declaring themselves as warlords to form their own territories. One of the primary Grand Moffs, Ardus Kane, established the Pentastar alignment that solidified Imperial power in the Outer Rim territories, but removed a substantial portion of Coruscant's influence. Another act of Grand Moff treason occurred with Grand Moff Hissa, who united several powerful Moffs together into the Central Committee of Grand Moffs that attempted to challenge Yusani Isar's rule over the galaxy. In the next video in the series, I will review the Imperial Ruling Council's role within the Empire. In the meantime, please subscribe to my channel for more Imperial Explained videos. Thank you for watching and as always, long live the Empire.